And we're back. No. You no, know it's me. Yeah. I'm the one who says it. And we're back with the second episode of Mailbag. How how you how are you guys doing today? How are you guys doing? I'm doing good. Yeah, me too. Diaper. Uh, uh, this is not little, too much. Little yeah. less, looking less than healthy right now. A little worse for the wear. Okay. What, explain what happened. You, you walk into the studio today. We say, oh my god, did you get hit by a reindeer? Well, first of all, I start vomiting everywhere. Oh, like, yeah. oh my god, what's wrong with you? And then I looked at his face, and it only got worse. <laughs> oh. He's not making a goof. He's not making a joke, tasters. I have a black eye. I have stitches. I have stitches in my eyebrow, stitches in my lip. I have a broken tooth. What, ha what, what happened? What happened? What the H happened? Well, earlier hey, how today. How come it's always you? Uh, you know, someone comes into the studio sick, it's you. <laughs> so Judge calls me up earlier today. Mm -hmm. And he says, uh, Gotta get back in the game. We gotta get back in the saddle. We're gonna start off with a mailbag. Coach is calling me up. It's a mailbag. Whew. I gotta stretch. So during my stretch, I was doing the stretch, you know, where you like spread your legs apart and you like bend down and try to touch the floor. Okay, is that is that a yoga stretch or is that a no? It's like a, is that a sports it's like stretch. a it's the double dog down. Oh, it's the double dog. Okay. No, it's not the double dog down. It's like that gym teacher stretch. Like mm. a gym teacher taught me it a long time ago. Is, not like personally. It was like, is in front like a of the pedophilia gym. joke. No, it's not. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Oh, man. Come on, you know. I just realized I, I came out with it, so I went with it, but I didn't mean to go there. It's look. So I'm doing my stretch. And uh, I uh, slipped and uh, fell on my face. Uh, the floor broke my fall. Yeah, that's, that's how we warm up. We just all use, we use our uh, yeah we our all replacement. Let's, um, try, let's try it on three. Okay, okay. Wait, one, two, three. Oh, Judge, you didn't try it. Judge, you're not Judge trying didn't it. Judge didn't try it. Judge didn't try it. Judge doesn't do it as much as we do it. He doesn't think it's funny. <laughs> you're right. When you're right. No, that that's over this season too. I'm not prepared to be done with it. No, you're right. <laughs> you're right. When you're right. I'm right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I, so I, I fell on my face. <laughs> Not commentary wise. Well, like yeah. literally. Right, right. Absolutely. Let's get so into some I, of those I, questions. So th they're the men drinking coffee, I'm the man taking bike it in. Dear men drinking coffee, me and my friends are in high school and are looking to start a band. Oh. Do you have any advice for us? Colin from the band Black Griffin. Well, thanks for that letter, Colin. Thank you, Colin. Uh, uh, first of all, great name. That's Black a great name. Is it like, is it like a Griffin, great name, like the... Colin? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah great yeah, name, no, Colin. No, 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 Black Griffin. Eh, I can take or leave it. So, like, is it like Griffin, like the, the mythical I believe so. Well, there's no Y in it, so I don't think so. Well, I think like... that's just the Harry Potter gri Gryphon. Griff Gryphon. Griffin? It's like, it's like the basketball player, Blake Griffin. Oh, so it's like... Known for his slam dunks. And his blackness. He's not black. We're not, I mean. <laughs> so, any advice for uh, Colin? I, I got some advice. Oh, good, because I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not really I mean, uh, musically inclined. I mean, he's starting a band, so I mean, the mm -hmm. first thing you're gonna wanna do is nail down your look. Gotta nail down the look. Gotta get first the look First and done. foremost. First and foremost. Most important look. thing about a band. Get yourself to the mall, get to the nearest Gadzooks inside there, mm -hmm. and buy yourself some uh, jeans that cover your shoes. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a shirt with a dog with sunglasses on it. Good luck, yeah. And uh, some bracelets with spikes. Yeah, I think more spikes the better. All of that in, at, in general. All of that's at Gadzooks. Gadzooks. It's all at Gadzooks. Okay. Basically, your one-stop shop. Yep, yep, yep. And you could pop over to Spencer's, get yourself a little fog machine, like one of those little tiny ones. You don't need to get a big one. Ooh, and a strobe not. light. Strobe light? And a strobe light, too. Yeah, and one of those little, like, Tesla things where you and put your hand on it. That is good. That so, is like, that's one something one the drummer can do during a guitar solo. Right. That's good. And then get yourself some Led Zeppelin uh, blacklight posters. Yeah. To that's And then put them behind you when you're playing and show where you're coming from. Right. You know, who who inspires you roots. as a band? Your right. roots. Yeah, your roots. Not the roots. No. No, the, no, 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 no. It's yeah. bad enough your, your band is called Black Griffin. And then the other thing is you want to have your uh, friend that's not in the band make him the merch guy. Yeah. So he feels like he's participating. Because uh, you got to have a merch guy. Yeah, you got to have a street team now. That's what I heard. No, it's a merch guy. Not a, not a street team? No, street we, teams are back in the day. They used to pass out demos. Now, now we're back into the merch guy. Yeah, we're back in the merch guy. Okay. He's so like, hey, the, these back things, off the table with the merch. These things go in, in cycles. It's all cyclical. My, my advice would be to pick your genre right now. Mm -hmm. You you really want to commit to it. Yeah. Since you're in high school, 
you know what's really big now is uh, jazz. the what's that? Jazz. Yeah. Jazz. Jazz. Right. You wanna you wanna stick to jazz. Uh, that'll really resonate with your peers. And you know, high school was only about one thing, and that is French fries in the cafeteria. And I think if you play your cards right with that lunch lady, you might get a little bit extra, if you know what I mean. Because when I was there, right. I, was there. I know it, what it was it about. Was, it was about the cookies. It was, I was uh, never saying it was yeah, you know, yeah. You know, it's like that. Limp Bizkit said, I did it all for the cookies in the cafeteria. That, oh, see, everyone thinks that their high school's cookies were the best. Mm-hmm. That's what I found out as I got older. Right. They're all the same cookies They're in every high the school. Same cookies. So high school is about the cookies. When I was there. Now it's Years about the fries. Ago. Years ago. Yeah, now it's about the fries, I guess. That's fine. Things change. Things change. Cookies will come back. Everything's cyclical. It's all cyclical. It's all cyclical. It's good. Do we have any more questions? Uh, do you don't have any advice for Black Griffin? Oh, no, I told... I, uh, well... You, you, I mean, do-rags, bandanas, uh... You know, anywhere you could throw, like, a scarf. That's all... That's all... Piano scarf. Yeah. That's all gravy, in my opinion. Gravy's great on French fries. I, I heard the Canadians are all about that. Is that true? Yeah. I think they call true. it. They call it something. I don't know. What it <laughs> they is. call it. They call it maize. Yeah, they call it maize. Here, I'm not. I haven't read these before, so I, I don't know that I'm going to do this any justice. Oh, listen, to this guy. Uh, men drinking coffee. This is male three. It's headed on the on the page. I'm 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 showing you the page like I was reading you a book in preschool, but you can't see because this is the internet and we don't have a webcam. But just imagine me sitting behind a microphone with the with the question just, up. Just all, right, imagine, all, this, all this is getting cut. Just, 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 just imagine you with a webcam. Just imagine me. Have you, have you ever like looked at a porn site and then the webcam <laughs> thing came on in the background and you're afraid it picked up your webcam on your laptop, so you closed it? I don't have one. Are web- you like routinely a girl fingering herself? <laughs> you're like when you see that, you're like, Whoa, that's me! Oh wait, no, it's not. <laughs> No, no, no! Like, <laughs> like, 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 like you're terrified your webcam will just turn on for no reason. Why? I don't know. I don't understand <laughs> you're how things like work. You're like a grandma. You're like they. I heard that they could turn uh, your your computer into a bomb. <laughs> like, how can a web page open up your webcam? I don't know. You know, for one thing, I'm opening up my CD tray. I'm putting my coffee in it. <laughs> Next thing, I'm putting my credit card into the floppy disk. Before you know it, the webcam is going to be showing me uh, my my jacking it penis to the porn land. Porn land. Porn land, yeah. Anthony, next question, please. Okay. Uh, men drinking coffee, comma, the late shift. You're not supposed to read comma. Oh? Uh, yeah, that's like a silent thing. Go ahead. I'll try it again. Uh, men drinking coffee, pause. Okay. The late shift is a great book. I read the book several years ago and was transfixed at the cutthroat debauchery that went on when Johnny Carson retired and Jay Leno and Johnny Carson <laughs> Wait. tried to grab his spot. Wait. Cut? Excuse me. <laughs> when the movie came out, I, uh, I snagged a VHS copy of the movie and having reread the book recently, it's hard to say which I enjoy more because they're quite equal in the amounts of information conveyed. That's what I like to think of when I think of entertainment. VHS and books, competing uh, mediums. Yep, well, and, and their ability to convey information. Uh, the two lead actors, John Michael Higgins and Daniel Roebuck, for, forgive me if I got either of those wrong, uh, two actors I've never heard of before and haven't heard of since, played Leno and Letterman convincingly, despite Letterman's dismissal of his portrayal as being poor. Uh, They play the parts quite well, despite a lot of people looking for an imitation of the two. I wasn't interested in that. The story is what counts, and what brings me to, uh, oh, and that's what's bringing me to Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates playing Helen Kushnick, is it Kushnick? Is the movie. Uh, she plays this evil bitch of a character. <laughs> uh, so menacingly that you realize how on earth this woman... How on earth can this woman control herself? <laughs> Much less a national TV, and that's short for television, folks, show. Yikes, there should be a sequel, double exclamation points. Sincerely, IMDB user... Spuzz Lightyear. 
Spuzz Lightyear. Spuzz Lightyear. Thanks for that, Spuzz. Thanks, Spuzz. Great take on the movie HBO. Now, movie can I Lightyear. can I see that for a second? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it, 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 I thought you made a mistake here, but it's... I probably did. Johnny Carson retired, and Johnny Carson tried to grab yeah, his Yeah, spot. no, I didn't make a mistake there. I, I, I giggled. Is that in the movie? Like, it's Johnny Carson, like, <laughs> yeah, Johnny a man Carson on the... Yeah, comes in, back. He's a man on the inside. What, he, what so he is, orchestrated his own retirement so that he could get his it's, spot. It's zombie Johnny Carson yeah, comes it's, back. It's, it's, yeah. Zombies are in. They are in. Along yeah. with VHS and books. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty good. This internet thing, though, fad. Yeah, it was a pretty good movie. You check it out sometime. I haven't seen it, Prey. I, I, I think you can get it, it at your local library. Oh, that's good. The library is a good place to go if, if you're looking for DVDs on the cheap. Yeah. Just, uh, here's, here's a, here's a, a little pro tip. If you guys are in college ever, I don't know if you guys are of college age, <laughs> you know, uh, the state that we live in, you can get college textbooks. You don't want to say where we're from. I'm not going to say where we're from. You need college textbooks through your library. Don't uh, don't return those late because they they won't waive. Normally, if you just go up to the library and be like, hey, can you waive my late fees? They'll just do it. I don't know if you guys know that. You're just like, hey, I don't want to pay my late fees. That's why we're heading for the fiscal cliff. You just don't have to pay. They won't do that with college textbooks. I have like $80 in, in fines to my local library uh, and I haven't been there in four years consequently oh great i didn't know you were actually a felon i'm gonna have to refile your tax forms this year dear coffee crew i don't think yataman really died sincerely concerned in colorado he did die he died he died he's, 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 dead. Dead. he's, dead. he's, he's dead. dead the man died no Listen, question li- leave it to the internet to come up with a conspiracy theory about anything oh hillary clinton's a, a reptile in disguise oh 9-11 wasn't an inside job Come on. Come on. We all know the we all know the truth. To the Coffee Lovers Incorporated. I believe the media paints a very unfair portrait of Taylor Swift. Who among us has never gone through a breakup? So eager is society to paint her as some kind of succubus incapable of forming a long-lasting relationship. This elucidates the double standard in society. If a man dates around, he's a player. But if a woman does it, she's of ill repute. Women are more than just sexual property, and any notion to the contrary is outdated and wrong. If you could give Miss Swift some advice, what would it be? Also, how do you think she is in bed? Sincerely, er, sincerely, <laughs> sincerely, <laughs> Professor of Women's Studies at Oxford University, Ettore Langston. Thank, thanks for the, thanks for dropping the note. Uh, I, I think we should answer Professor Langston. Answer question one, and then we will answer question two uh, together. Okay. And question one is: If you could give Miss Swift some advice, what would it be? Do uh, Do we know who she's dating right now? Um, she was dating the One Direction guy, but then she uh, broke and then up she, with him. She insulted isn't, him on isn't, the Emmys. Isn't she? Isn't he a, a good deal younger than she is? I mean, I could I'm, be wrong. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. I don't. Uh, you know. It would, that would just be interesting. I don't have Seventeen magazine. Well, I don't get it. I don't, what are we paying I don't for? read Cosmo. Uh, uh, apparently, during the Emmys... I don't read the Red Book. Taylor Swift uh, performed on... Grammys. The, 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 the Emmys. <laughs> and she performed on stage. She sang one of her hit songs, which is, I'm never going to date you again. And at the end of it, she had a really bad British accent, apparently mocking Harry Styles from the Unidirectionals. That was and the she, Grammys. And she said... Oi, no, we're never getting box together. We is, we is. I thought it was really insulting. I thought, like, she put on, like, really bad teeth, too. And, like, those big uh, guard helmets that look like Marge Simpson's hair. But, and I thought it was, like, a little, like, almost racist. But you can't be racist against a white race. Right. First of all, it was the Golden Globes. It wasn't the Emmy. Oh, okay. Second, she wasn't mocking Harry. Yeah. She was, I heard, real talk, she was actually upset because she had auditioned for a part in Les Mis. But she didn't get it. Oh, that actually explains a lot. And she was trying to prove that she could sing in a British accent, because most people in Lame is sing in a British accent. That explains a lot about her Because it's about the French Revolution. Her behavior at the TV Guide Awards makes a lot more sense. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was a Teen's Choice Awards, I believe. Did she get slimed? No, that doesn't happen anymore. They haven't slimed anyone since, like, 08. This is like the Tiger Beat magazine, too. They don't slime people. You're thinking of CNN. You're right. When you're right... I mean, I guess you're right. I uh, Taylor Swift, uh, she, uh, an attractive young lass. Oh, we 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 could do we could do worse. Is she Asian? I'm pretty sure she's Asian. Yeah. How do you think she is in bed? 
Terrible. Wet fish. Yeah, for sure. Unquestionably. You know, I'm... Yeah, terrible. Uh, dear men, what will your next LP be, you idiots? Look at it. LPB. It, like, it sounds like a, some sort of sandwich. Like a BLT? Yeah. LPB. Oh, yeah. What's, a, what's on an LPB? Uh, you got lettuce. Lincoln, lettuce. Okay. This is a, dear men, what will your next LP be? L, let's play. L, LP. You down with LPB? <laughs> yeah, hey, you, you know, know me. me. What will your next LP be? Uh, LP. Little Big Planet. <laughs> We're going to play that? <laughs> well, ah, that would little, be great. Little that, Planet Big. <laughs> No, what are you trying to say? Spit it out. What will your next LP, let's play, B, B, E, as in, what... You could do it. What will your next, there you go. let's play, B? Mm -hmm. You idiots lied at the end of Mega Man Zero 2 and said you'd do Buster Bust Loose. <laughs> we got a story for you. Are you still doing that? Sincerely, Mild Interest in Michigan. Well, thanks for the question, Mild Interest in Michigan. Uh, first, no, I don't think we're ever going to do Buster Bust Loose. We're not allowed to do good games. Yeah. Yeah, we tried. Didn't. Yeah, we did. But I think that we do have something in the works. So here's a little hint as to what's coming in your future. And thanks for listening. Thanks okay. for listening. Are you, are you going to put a trailer up? Yes. Coming out. Oh. You have no idea what's at stake. I propose to discover a world in a parallel universe. We protected her as long as we could. Are you familiar with the prophecies of the witches? You think she is that child? She must be found. War is coming, Lyra. 